Chu Lock, the owner of Rare May Photography. Jen, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. You are so welcome. I'm always intrigued by photographers, um, and I'll, t I'll tell you one reason why. I think there's so many of us that take pictures, and we think that you all are miracle workers. We want you to make us look like Halle Berry when we couldn't and wouldn't and would never be able to look that way. <laughs> How do you get your clients to understand that you can take whatever the vision is they're looking for, that you can take it and make it into something very precious and creative, Although, if sometimes it's something they're looking for that's a little bit out of the ordinary, how are you able to bring whatever their vision is to life? Well, it usually starts with just sitting down and talking with them. Okay. Because the majority of the time, I want to know what their vision is first. And it's really weird because sometimes I'll just get a vision in my head of the exact image as to what I want to try. And then from then on, I mean, you take in Photoshop or any software and you can really create something amazing mm -hmm. for your client, especially if it's like something they're going to be showing the world, right? You know, or even just in their own home. You know, who you know who wouldn't want a piece of art of themselves? Of you know, course, <laughs> definitely. So, so. I, I see you have your camera. I'm guessing, of course, that's one of the first places to start as well. Yes. What is so intricate about your camera that you have that makes your pictures? And we're going to take a look at your pictures in just a few moments that make them come out so clear, crisp, and professional. Well, I'd have to say that you have to start, when you're looking at cameras, you have to think more of a professional grade line of cameras. Okay. You're not going to just go out and get a point and shoot. You're probably going to go for the SLR. What makes the pictures really great, really, is the lens and the glass. And there's so many intricate parts to a camera that you really don't even know until you start studying about it. And even I'm still learning, but <laughs> really the lens will give you really wonderful images and saturation of color, even before you even get to Photoshop. So, um Really, it's a good lens. So let's well. take a look at some of your photos and talk about each one briefly so that my viewers can get a really good, clear picture of what you do. Yeah. Tell me about this one. I, I think it's so nice. It's like you have the couple. is like they're in a mirror, or is that a reflection? How, how, tell us about that. It's actually both. Yeah, okay. I was actually in a little conference room, and I just saw this beautiful round mirror. And I told them to just stand next to that painting because really every time I flash hit that painting, it just lit up like a cloud did of it blue. Really? It did. Now, I did put an effect on this to make it look more of a, you know, kind of a, a muted tone. Yeah. But really, I just had them stand there and just look all lovey-dovey. And I just, <laughs> I shot the photo literally looking into the mirror while they were off behind me. So Really, that is really nice. And I do love the tone that you used in yeah. it. Let's go to your next photo. Now, this one, the two young ladies, um, are they in the pool? Yes, they are in a pool. We actually went to her house, mm -hmm. um, one of the models' house. And I don't know if, it, apparently the wind wasn't going because you can see how, how smooth the water looks. But you can see it cuts off right at their right. head. And their hair is floating and their it's dresses really are floating. Nice. And, and are those just, evening gowns? Those are evening gowns. <laughs> and the, the effect, again, made them look both black. But really, they were very sparkly. And in, we were in direct sunlight for most of the shoot. But this was kind of in the shade. It, it and I, just, I was standing above them, too. So It reminds me of a picture Janet Jackson did on her very first album. And she was in the pool and it looked just like that. Very wow. nice. Your next photo. Yes. Tell me about this one. It looks like she's looking through bars. Is that yes. what she's looking down this, into? This is a fun one because I had first met this model, and I took her down to Deep Ellum because there's, there's only one place to get a lot of color and saturation. That's in Deep Ellum. And so I went down there, and this is actually just a trash can that is sitting on is the side really? of the road. <laughs> and so was the, that your idea? It was my idea. I walked past it, and I just all of a sudden I looked down, and I noticed that it had this really intricate design. I really love architecture lines and shapes and colors. And I said, here, peer through this. And I took maybe three <laughs> shots, and this is the that. one I loved. And I, this is one of my favorite in, images from last year, for I sure. really love that. Let's see one of your next ones. And you have to be, have a creative mind as a photographer. You do. Your, your perspective like changes all the time. You're up, you're down, down you're to the right, right to the left. I mean, you're everywhere. <laughs> now, this is your uh, wedding collage, correct? Yes. Tell us about the young lady. I see the, the bride has the tattoo going down the arm. And you were able yes. to capture her tattoos very clear and the color. How were you able to get all of that and just make it still look so enticing and professional? This is great because this is what I call just watching your subject. Mm -hmm. You're just watching them. And she was fiddling with her dress the entire event. <laughs> and it was really funny because I just caught her at that very moment. And the tattoos were so beautiful that day. And um, she was just looking down at something. 
and I was like, yes, click. <laughs> well, <laughs> so you it was really that fast. Job. Really, weddings move really fast, and that's kind of what I love about them. Well, I tell you what, it's, it's been nice having you here. I want my viewers to go to your website at www.rarmay.com and find out how you can hire Jen to take photos of your next wedding party or whatever the moment or event is, and she will definitely do a great job. We're going to take a short break. Come right back with Don Miller. <laughs> yeah!